We got some very good news that I do want to go and talk about in today's video regarding XCAT, so stay tuned until the end. But I do have a question for you. After seeing the first and completed, not the first, the second, CLO about Lulu99, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of how it went, how do you think it could have been better, or anything that you want to say about it. But also, if you are a supporter of XCAT, let me know in the comments, leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump straight into the video over here, and I want to start by looking at Qcoin. Now, looking at the price of XCAT, not gonna lie, I am sad as well as most of you, it is looking pretty bad. We are going under the $1, which we've only been under the $1 at launch, and then we just skyrocketed all the way up to $9, as we're able to go and see here, and now we're taking a hit with the whole market. So it's a little bit of a sad time if it comes to price price actions yes uh, not gonna lie but the good things and why i keep on supporting this crypto project this xcat built on the zilliqa ecosystem well the first thing is they keep on building you're able to go and see it over on the twitter page they keep on building doesn't matter the time of the year doesn't matter where it's a bull market doesn't matter where it's a bear market they keep on building up so this it is very very important to look at these things a good project you're able to see it during a bear market if they keep on building up and by the things that they go and publish over on their Twitter on a day-to-day -day basis they keep on building for example this referral program that you both play a fun token area with you and your friend there's a referral program that you get the access code they also have the play area which just been launched recently not recently but at the end of November uh, they keep on announcing creators as we're able to go and see here at the end of November they kept on announcing announcing creator they have the new CLO which was Lulu 99 which did end and talking about this I also want to go and emphasize one thing on this CLO that has ended they stated that it was a record of total participant now this is good in a way because I just want to explain to you this is the second CLO. The first one was Millie, the second one was her. Of course, everything counts in terms of subscribers and views and she does uh, get a relatively good amount of views for the subscribers that they've got. If we go and check it out over on YouTube, we can look for Lulu99. We can go and see that they do have some nice views for the amount of people that they got following her. We got 400k, 500k, 400k, 300, 986k. So it is a very reasonable and very nice, you know, amount of views to subscribers that they got. They got some bangers as well on 3 million, 6 million. So it is good to see this. And I just want to emphasize the fact that this has a new record participant. What does this mean? Well, it means that between the first and the second, even though it's only two of them, people are starting to catch up. People are starting to like it. People are starting to go and explore more of this XCAD, more of this, you know, possibility of investing in creators, earning from the creators by watching them that they are already doing the clo was uh, located at 400 i think as a max so you were only able to go and invest 400 at a max but it did reach new record high so it means that more people are interested in it house of chimera does a very good cover of this project we're able to go and see here that it did end yesterday were the 13 today time of recording this video there was a 180 day pool counts towards the clo meaning that you're able to go and stake over on swap.xcadnetwork.com you're able to go and stake on a single stake on a pool stake you depending whichever one you want to go and get tokens from you're able to go and do it they were having on the launchpad x network over here which you need to go and sign up with your name and you're able to go and connect the zilica wallet the bnb wallet and so on and then you're able to go and stake them but i just want to emphasize that it was very very nice the way that they did explore and they did you know enlarge their audience it went bigger from the first one they also have a new plugin same in a bear market they keep on building price action yes i'm sad as well I am very, very sad that this is the price action that we're seeing. I was lucky enough, I'm one of the early supporters of XCAD. I did buy at the launch, which was very, very, you know, extremely happy for it. It was actually my first time entering uh, the initial price, the early supporter, whatever you want to call it. I then did buy a two or three dollars, something around here, because I thought, okay, we're, you know, either here or here, I don't remember. But I think on the way up, I was like, this is gonna go even higher, and it did, it went to nine dollars. But I keep on having all of my funds on XCA, not all of them, but everything that I invested since day one, as well as day 30, let's say, I keep on having it. So I am in a loss, like a lot of people, but this is the market. We're able to go and see Bitcoin that also is on a very, very big loss. So compared to what the possibility of XCAD is on the market on the long term, it is the not the only project, but one of the only projects. And when I talk about projects that build on a bear market, we're talking about big, big projects out there. 
Matic keeps on building on a bear market. Zilica as well, even though it did lose the top positioning on the top 100 and a lot of trust within the community, Zilica is still doing very, very good on the building of things. They just around the EVS over on MetaMask, meaning that also the Zilica will be able to go and arrive on MetaMask, which is super good and it's gonna to arrive to millions and millions of people. They also announced, uh, you know, for example, near network also works during a bear market All the project within the near network works. So it is good to see that the best project which we will go and see in the bull market. Now, XCAD is a very niche specific token. It is not a, you know, an ecosystem, even though they do want to go and become a layer one, meaning that they want to go away from Zilliqa. And if I'm mistaken, correct me down in the comments below, please. But they do want to go away from Zilliqa and they do want to become their own ecosystem, which is very, very good news. In my opinion we are going to be able to see the rise of this project that are building on a bear market right now and Zilliqa is one of those we did talk about the niche yes it is a very particular niche it is only regarding YouTube and then it's going to be Twitch and social media in general how to earn money and get to go and talk to the people but it is building and this is the important thing you see a lot of projects out there that are not building during the bear market they are saving themselves, they're a little bit like, yes, no, maybe XCAD is doing like the big guys are doing. It's building and it's working and it's working. And we have a lot of announcements, in my opinion, left on the December calendar announcement that they did talk about at the beginning of the month, which when they would do an uh, announcement here and there on a regular basis. So I do think that there is still a lot of things coming and the bear market is here to build. They are building. Price action, once again, very sad. I am very sad as an investor, as a supporter of the token. I do want to see this token. I think this token, and I have very strong belief that it's going to reach $20 to $50 within the next bull market or talking about the year 2026, which in my opinion, I am very, you know, looking forward to it. I'm not going to sell it. I'm going to put more money into it. So let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on X. I am still a strong supporter. With that said, I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching and have a great, great day. Ciao, guys.